everybody. Welcome to day 12 of 30 days and 30 ways to clear your energy. Today I'm going to talk about clearing the aura. So yesterday we did chakras. Chakras is actually a really helpful way to kind of clear and heal the body. What I find really fascinating about the auric field is that it gives you um, an excellent place to check out how you function with the world. So your auric fields are almost the gateway between you and how you interact with the outside world. When we experience illness, it actually comes from the outer layers of our aura all the way through into our body, not the other way around. We call it in energetically and then we create the environment for things to evolve which is potentially a little bit different to what you might be used to hearing, but this is my experience. So when we're dealing with the auric field, we have so many different ways that we can unpack this. I've done a whole series of this in my intuitive mastery school, and it took us like three months. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to do a really quick overview so you have an understanding. But basically it's how we perceive the world and how the world perceives us how we think feel and vibrate becomes part of our aura and it becomes part of what we attract so how we think and feel is super important and if there's any issues with the layers of our auric field then they can create problems as well so we have seven major layers a lot of people say 14 but when we're talking about the auric field, we're talking about layers of energy that sit on the outside of our bodies and create almost like a circle. Although some people say they kind of hug the body, but they almost look like uh, a dome of colors around the body. And each layer has a different energy and it has a different purpose. I remember when I was doing the series in my intuitive mastery school and I was following a textbook on this and the woman who used to teach this was quite phenomenal. She could really see the texture and the color and the feel and the vibration of each layer really specifically and individually from each other. I don't think we have to go into that kind of detail in order to heal it and clear it. But we do need to have an understanding about how it works. So the outer auric layer is almost like the gateway between us and the outside world. And we can actually learn how to code that so that we let things in or we don't let things in. And we can give ourselves permission to create almost like a bodyguard on the outside of our aura so that we allow certain experiences in and we can keep other experiences out. But essentially from the inside out, it's what we think, feel and vibrate. And from the outside in, it's what we allow to kind of penetrate us um, on an energetic level and whether things get to us or not. So if we're having a conversation with someone across the other side of the room and they say something that's really hurtful, it will actually penetrate all our auric fields until it hits our, our physicality and we will respond from that. If we have an energetic barrier on the outside of us then it will impact whether those words hit us now there's a couple of really big things that help us keep a really solid auric field the first one is grounding i did that first clearing in the very first session day one and it's a very very powerful thing to do the more grounded we are the less likely we are to take on other people's energy that's number one Number two is having a really strong sense of self and understanding our boundaries. If we know who we are, if we know our beliefs, our values, how we show up for things, the more we know ourselves, the more we sit in our I am presence, the stronger our boundaries become and the less people are likely to impact us. It's still really helpful to work through the auric fields because I do find that as we're on our life's journey, particularly if we're feeling tired or distressed or there's been trauma, our auric fields will actually be reactive to that. And we do need to be really mindful. So we've got like a physical or etheric first layer. We've got an emotional one after that. We've got a mental body. We've got an astral body. We've got a lower mental and then a higher mental. And then we've got a spiritual or a catheric template. 
So we've got lots and lots of different layers and they have different energies and different um, functions. But ultimately, we want all of them working really well. So I'm just going to take you through a pretty quick clearing and also resetting of the auric fields. And I do actually find that this is really powerful. So when I do healings on people and I've worked through their um, interior and then I see all sorts of stuff happening in their auric field, I will clear that. And it does seem to just tidy everything up really beautifully. Plus, it also creates this beautiful permission energy. I don't like protection. Protection is a fear-based thing, but it creates a permission energy and we can code that with whatever we want. I'm only going to allow people who are helping me on my journey today and I'm only going to allow them to come through my field. I'm going to keep out everything that's distracting me from keeping myself on my journey today. That could be a way of coding your auric field. Okay, so I'm going to take you through a bit of an activation and a clearing right now. I hope it's really helpful. This is a really nice way to deal with the outside world. All right, the chakras is more kind of internal. So how you see the world, um, all of your core limiting beliefs, all the stuff that's really kind of embodied your experiences and the auric field, in my opinion, is how we're interacting with the outside world. So if we're having trouble with feeling a little bit scared in meetings, or if you're finding that people are walking all over you at work or in your friendship group, if you find that things are a little bit um, out of kilter with your friends, with your partner, with your family, this is actually a really beautiful way. I give a lot of my clients auric field exercises to do when they're going into meetings for work and, and personal and whatnot. And it really helps to just hold that space for themselves. And I hope that this is really helpful for you as well. I'm not going to do any of that other stuff because that's kind of more in depth than we need to go. But this is just like a really easy and quick auric field cleanse so that we can actually hold our space really well and have that stronger sense of boundary and sense of self as we're walking through the world. Okay, so I'll get you to close your eyes. And I'm going to invite you to slow your breath down. Put your hands on your heart space if you want to, just to allow everything to calm. Everything happens when the body's at peace. You cannot heal, you cannot clear when you are in crisis and chaos. Slow it all down. Take three big five-second breaths in and five-second breaths out. And as you take that final beautiful big breath out, just give yourself permission to fully land here in this moment and do the clearing that you need in order to feel whole and well. So we're just going to ask for our Archangels of the Light to come and help us and hold space. We're going to call in Michael and Gabrielle, Raphael, Uriel, Sanifon and Metatron to hold six directions. And we're going to ask for and create the intention for complete healing and release of anything that is impacting our auric fields. So firstly, we're going to call in St. Germain and the Violet Flame Angels to release any lower grade energies, any imbalances that is happening through the auric field. Release any, any thought forms, energies. Anything that isn't serving us, just release it totally and completely. And we're going to become really mindful of any feelings of holes, tears, 
anything that's impacting the structure and function of your auric fields. We're going to ask for those to be completely sealed with golden netting. Bringing in beautiful waves of light in between each auric field so that they are not too close and not too far apart. Releasing any spears, arrows, hooks, bars, ties, contracts, anything that's impacting the auric field, we ask for them to be released now and forever, please. And giving yourself permission to stay in complete and total sovereignty. Allowing your auric field to go deep under the earth and hold yourself in a place of I am presence. Giving you a strong discernment about your boundaries versus other people. And we're going to place a beautiful permission energy in the outside auric field. The furthest auric field, the Catheric template. And we're going to create a permission energy. We're going to code this template with allowing only things in to your field, to your life, to your awareness that are in your highest good. And just think of any intention that you would like to create around that today. And we're going to have as a lack of permission, a release and an absolute rejection of any lower grade energies, any negative thought forms, any beliefs or any other energetic ties or alliances to anything that is not in your highest good. Keeping it all out of your field and allowing you to stay in your perfect I am sovereignty. Allowing your auric field to expand as far as feels really comfortable for you. It might be a meter, it might be 10 meters from your body, it might be 100 meters from your body. And give it permission to contract and expand according to your circumstance and the highest possible needs of your body, staying in the highest good of your intention here. You may find it gets really small in crowds and really big in the country. You may find that you want to expand it into meetings, into experiences with other people. But allow your auric field to ebb and flow according to the needs and the coding that you've just placed on it now. Allowing yourself to feel the expansion and the clarity and the sense of spaciousness around your body. Allowing yourself to feel really calm and at home in your own body. And you allow this permission to stay in place for as long as is required. And then ask for clarity and awareness as to when you need to recode this catheric template with your permission energy. And whenever you're ready, we thank the Archangelics, Saint Germain, the Violet Flame Angels. Wiggle your fingers and toes, come back into the room and open your eyes. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I hope you feel a bit clearer. I hope there's a lot less thought forms floating around you, especially from other people. 
allow yourself to stay clear, allow yourself to stay grounded and have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.